Hey, what is up, guys? So you have a Westinghouse Smart TV uh, with the uh, Roku TV, and you have a Samsung Galaxy Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. I'm going to show you how to screen mirror directly onto your big screen. The first thing I want to mention is you do not need a home Wi-Fi internet connection for this to connect, okay? It's basically a direct connection. It's Wi-Fi direct, not home Wi-Fi network. Now, the only thing is we'll be able to connect and we'll be able to mirror like... Um, Anything that's stored on the phone locally, like photos and videos that you can show on the big screen. However, if you needed uh, internet access, like let's say you wanted to do a Skype call and you wanted to show on the big screen, a Skype video call or something, uh, with a Skype call you would need uh, internet. So if you are connected to a, it, it'll either use your home Wi-Fi network from your phone or your mobile data from your phone if you need uh, require internet access, okay? Anyways, let's go ahead and uh, mirror this uh, Note 10 to my Westinghouse Smart TV right now. Very, very simple. So first thing is have the uh, TV on. Next thing is go ahead and grab your phone and you just wanna scroll down like this. And now just make sure the uh, Wi-Fi is on, okay? Because we're gonna be using Wi-Fi Direct, not, not, nothing to do with your home Wi-Fi network. You can see um, I'm not connected to any um, Wi-Fi network either. You can see I just have it toggled on, okay? but I'm not actually connected to any uh, Wi-Fi network. Anyways, I just wanted to show you that. Now from here, what you wanna do is scroll down your notifications, so slide down like this, and then you see this little horizontal line right there, we wanna slide down again. And now what we wanna do is look for Smart View. Yep, Samsung calls it Smart View, they, don't, they no longer call it um, Screen Mirror, like they did like five years ago. Anyways, what you wanna do is just slide over like this and look for Smart View right there. We're gonna go ahead and tap on Smart View, just like that, and then give it a second, and hopefully it finds my TV here. Hey, what do you know, it found it right there. Let me go ahead and tap on that. And now it says connecting. Now this is the first time I'm connecting this phone to this TV, and the first time you do that, you will get a message down here, okay? It says, uh, uh, this uh, phone, with, uh, would you like to allow the phone to cast video? And then it's already highlighted on allow. I'm gonna go ahead and click on okay. And now give this a second here and it says, you can see my phone still says connecting right there and something's going on and voila, we are in business right now. So anything I do on my phone is going to show up on the big screen. Even if I go ahead and um, lock my phone, it's going to do the same thing on there. Let me go ahead and, oh, need a pass. And now. Lock back in here. So for instance, even if we, uh, you know, uh, I'll, look, I'll, show you, I'll show you some videos and photos, but let me just go to the internet here. And actually, oh, I don't have internet. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, I don't have internet because I would have to um, have a SIM card in here that uses mobile data, or I can simply um, get hooked up to my uh, home Wi-Fi network. So if I hooked up to my home Wi-Fi network, then obviously I would have internet and it would show up on the TV as well. But let me just show you, uh, without no internet, let's go to, most of you guys are here probably because you wanna show fi uh, vo uh, videos and photos to your friends or family that's over onto the big screen. So for example, let me show you some photos here and I'll show you some uh, video as well. You can see I can zoom in on here, just like that. And we can go ahead and move over. Let's look for a video here. Okay, now take note, now this is a video here. I, I want you to listen to this, okay? Let me play this video. Oops, hold on one second. Let me go and grab the remote here and let me increase the volume here. And then we'll go ahead and Here's my new press PS4. on play. Now I can yeah. still increase and decrease the volume from my phone as well. You can see right here. Let's rock and roll, baby. Yeah. And let's go ahead and play that again. Testing, one, two, three. Testing, one, two, three. Here's my new PS4. Now, if you heard the audio, the audio actually comes from the TV. doesn't come out of the phone. Anyways, there you go. That's just a pretty much a simple demonstration of how to screen mirror your Note 10 or Note 10 Plus. And then, of course, uh, if you want to go ahead and disconnect, there's several ways you can do it. If you look on your screen, you have this like little, like, little blue dot right there. We can simply just tap on that and then you can go down here and you can go disconnect or you can just go ahead and 
go back to your notifications and then slide down again and then go slide over to the right. And remember, it was called Smart View before, but now it's because it's connected, it's saying my Westinghouse TV, but we can just simply just tap on that and then it's gonna go ahead and disconnect and you're back in business. Any questions, comment below. Good luck.